Shay asks, between Dan and Brandon, who would win a thumb war? Prove it. One, wait. One, two, three, four. This I is an attempt. What is up, Zen Dude Nation? Zen dudes and dudettes from all over the world. Put your yeah, hands yeah. up if you give yeah, a mother. Yeah. Up. yeah. Zen Dude Nation. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to episode number 13. Lucky 13. Because 13. I, don't, I don't believe in that unlucky. Yeah, 13. man. You make your own luck. So, welcome back, episode 13. Dude, the questions keep getting better and better. Yeah. I've noticed. More interesting. Uh, a lot of fitness questions, but also a lot of questions related to our business and you guys being able to do like start a business making YouTube videos. So I think that's super cool too for those of you mm -hmm. who want to become content creators. Mm -hmm. I can tell you it's like the most fun ever. So if you're thinking about it, ask us questions about it's it. It's very fun. It's a lot of hard work. It's very fun. It's a lot of work. Like anything, you should do something that you want to do anyway. If you would do it for free, then it's then you're probably gonna be successful at it because you're gonna do it no matter what, whether people are watching your videos or not. For sure. All right, let's get into these ladies and gentlemen. Harry Roberts asks, have you guys ever tried Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? One time, I went one time, oh, Austin, Texas. Yeah, I didn't know that. I did. I don't know, it, it just wasn't very fun for me. It's like wrestling, right? I mean, no, it's it's not. I know it's different. <laughs> no, 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 but like when you're rolling, like a yeah, lot of yeah. my wrestler friends yeah. are in BJJ. I think it's an acquired taste. Um, I don't know. It's just like it's very technical and slow, and I just gravitated more towards boxing because so I like to punch people in the face. Shoot. Um, no, I've never tried it. I've never tried it. Um, I don't have a huge interest in it, but I think it's cool. Like I know it's like a lot of people are doing it. Maybe in the future. Shannon yeah. asks, "What's up? What's up, Shannon? Do you guys have off days? What should we do?" if we have an off day with no motivation. Huh. Go ahead, man. Well, yeah, I definitely have off days. I have one, you know, sometimes two off days, but my off days are always like active off days. Like we had a meetup on Saturday. Yep. I didn't work out outside of the meetup, but we all jumped rope at the meetup. So I moved my body and we also walked, we walked like five it. miles. Yeah. Um, and so I don't really understand what you mean by what should we do if we have an off day with no motivation. Because if you're on an off day, you don't need motivation because it's your off day. Dude, enjoy right? it. Yeah, yeah enjoy your rest fun. day. And uh, yeah, I don't, it's not that we don't, I believe in rest. Like I believe in rest for the purpose of if you're injured or you're sick, healing yourself to get back to normal. But I also don't think that like you need a day because I, I used to try to do this. Like I would have a rest day where I literally did not move and I sat on my couch and watched movies and I was like, no, my body needs this. And honestly, if your body feels good, like moving every day for me is an essential thing for my happiness. Yeah. Um, so if you're going to have a rest day and you want to lay around, do it because you should be super intense the rest of the time, but don't feel like you need one. Um, don't force yourself to sit on your couch if you yeah. don't want to. If you don't want to, you don't need to. Honestly, dude, the reason why we both take rest days, I think is sometimes we're so busy. Yeah. That that, it's nothing to, you're right. Yeah. It's nothing to do with my body. It's always because I'm like, oh, I honestly like. Um, like we might be traveling, we do a lot of traveling yeah. here in Colombia, and so we're like in the car all day, and there's just it doesn't make sense because we're with people, and we move our bodies so much other days that like it equals out. It's true. It's true. Um, Matthew, what's up, Coach? Who are your favorite three movie characters, dude? Great question. I've Ooh. won. I've won. Wow. You know, some of these questions we get asked like on the spot. I wish I had like some time to like think this over beforehand. I kind of like that we just go. Yeah, bro. I'll tell you my number one: yeah. the Joker, Heath Ledger. He is the most badass, interesting, peculiar, dangerous. I just I love the Joker. I love the Dark Knight. Honestly, my second one would be Batman because like I, I dude, I'm obsessed with Batman. I love all those movies. I used to watch the cartoon as a kid, so I'd go the Joker. Batman and Johnny Depp playing Hunter S. Thompson in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I don't really, I don't know. I don't really have any other coming to my head. I'm sure I would. I'm, my memory is awful, just for all you to know. Like, like if, if you showed me a movie or someone else said something, a character, I'd be like, oh yeah, me too, that Dude, one. You like Leo. Like what I Leo, love Leo. What Leo, do, is there a particular character that you're down with? Um. 
Maybe actually, I think Will Smith's character in I Am Legend is pretty good. Dude, that's a great one. I like dude, that. that's a great movie. A I'm great trying to think of other people who inspire me, like maybe Rocky. Dude, there's definitely way more. I wish I had them off the top of my head right now. There really right is now. way more. Like, I'm thinking of like more now, but those are the first two that came to my head. Tell so. us your guys in the comments below. I'm yes. curious what everyone else's favorite movie characters are. Yeah. Barry Albert, what's up, my man? BCAA is the building block of amino acids, and important amino acids is leucine. Um, well, that's actually not true. Building BCAs, amino acids are in, in BC, they are amino acids are BCAs. Um, anyway, can I substitute BCAs with L leucine or leucine peptide? What is the recommended use and timing for L leucine or leucine peptide? Brandon, your thoughts, please. Yeah, man, simplify things, all right? You're going down this path of supplementation where you're trying to like come up with the perfect timing, the perfect supplement. Listen, we've talked about branched amino acids in the past, but they're the building blocks for protein, right? They're amino acids, building blocks for protein. So if you are fasted in the morning, take BCAs then. I'm not gonna comment on leucine just by itself in general, just because I don't know enough about the research behind it. Artificial complexity. Artificial complexity, man. Just take BCAs in the morning and take them you know, right before you work out. Yeah, I also saw someone comment below your question, Barry, and say that it's useless to take BCAs and whey protein together, which is just not a true statement. Um, I think BCAs can be super important and I wouldn't um, focus so much on all these other like individual vitamins and stuff. Just take BCAs, man, when you're in a fasted state. We have found through working with other people and with ourselves that it's very helpful. Corey! Corey, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Corey? Pre-workout, yay or nay? Or may. Ah, <laughs> or nice, may. nice. nice. Corey, thanks for sending us the video of you doing a thing. Put that in our do the thing video. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Um, Pre-workout. Uh, it depends what you're taking, right? You can take a lot of things. You can drink water pre-workout. You can get super hydrated. You can take BCAs like we just talked about. For the last question, um, for me, I just drink Americano. So I take a little caffeine and that is perfect for me. I wouldn't go try to find like a specific pre-workout supplement because there's just so many different things in that and it's just not necessary again to artificial complexity and a lot of it's just for your body it's just like artificial food coloring and et cetera, et cetera. all these like things that we don't actually know they do to our body so that's my opinion let me tell you guys a little story now my pre-workout is coffee like brandon i'll drink an americano or a cappuccino or something like that um i took this pre-workout called no explode for like five years straight and by the end of it, I was taking two scoops of it and I couldn't feel anything because my body was so used to it. And that was, I'm, I, I regret that decision. Like personally, I took so much pre-workout having no idea what was actually in that. And it's a lot of supplements are not approved by the FDA and relying on something like that instead of just a more natural supplement like green tea or coffee and just getting used to getting your mindset ready to work out as opposed to taking an artificial supplement. Um, I think my point is I think you want to, like I would recommend coffee. I would stay away from pre-workouts because then you're going to become dependent. Yeah. Then you're going to need your pre-workout to work out. Yeah. That ain't cool. Shay asks between Dan and Brandon, who would win a thumb war? Prove it. One, wait, one, two, three, four. This I is in the center of the tip. <laughs> Oh, dude. Dan has the biggest <laughs> thumbs in the world. Let's compare our thumbs. Look at this <laughs> thing. I have a baby thumb compared to this guy. Dan has huge hands in general. Let's look like how bigger hands are compared to each other. How do we? Oh my god. Dan. Look at this. Wait, you, you can move your hand up a little bit. Okay. We are both about the same height. Dan just has monster hands. Dude, you should have been an NFL wide receiver. I know. Ten. Except, uh, yeah, I was I was decent at catching the ball. You know what they say about big hands. Ah, yeah. yeah, big feet, big gloves, <laughs> big gloves. Yeah. Marcelo asks, would the green cocktail from Athletic Greens break my fasting? Also, what are your thoughts on creatine? Go ahead. It will not break your fast because it's only forty calories, and we know that for most people, fifty to seventy calories is like your your buffer. You, if you if you eat more than fifty to seventy calories, you're gonna break your fast. But you know the green supplement. The Athletic Greens link in the description below yeah. is only 40 calories, so you're not gonna break your fast. Creatine, um, we definitely think there's a lot of positive, um, there's 
a lot of positive benefits. There's a lot of benefits you can get from taking creatine. We don't take it personally because we're not prioritizing muscle like that. Um, I think there's a lot of great resources out there that talk about creatine more and I don't want to like just, I know it's good for you and um, I don't want to come out and just be like, yo, take this much or don't take it. So maybe we can find a resource and drop it in the description. Yeah. Uh, we'll do that for you. Creatine. I agree with what Brandon said. Daniel asks, could you one day have a meetup in St. Louis? Go ahead. Yo, man, of course. Yeah. We're coming to St. Louis, we're coming to everywhere, we're coming to India, we're coming to London, we're coming to every place that you guys are. Wait on it. We're coming to visit all of you. The next five years, we've talked about this before, are basically, we're just trying to meet as many people in person and change as many lives as we can, as we can through jump rope. So please believe we're gonna be going everywhere. Yeah. We did just have our first meetup in Medellin, oh, Colombia, dude, it was nice. which is dope. So dope. Thank you. Shout out to everyone in Medellin. Um, Julian, Julian, Sam, uh, uh, Juan, yeah. Julian, Juan Pablo, Anna, Jorge, Emmanuel, Santiago, Leah, Timory. Thank you guys so much. Seriously, we love you guys. Maela, sup girl, sup girl, Dan. I would like to try taking cold showers today. I ended up my hot shower with cold water. Damn, it was shocking on my body. Please believe that. My question is, if there is a risk to catch a cold while taking it, um, I mean catching a back pain, ovaries pain for women, etc. Brandon, what are your thoughts on this? Um, I think this is one of those like urban myths. Like if you're cold, then you get a cold. Yeah. Um, then you get a cold by having a weak immune system, right? So not taking care of your body in general. And if there's like, you know bacteria or if there is a virus going around, not bacteria, I sound like an idiot. There's a virus going around that you can contract it if you have a weak immune system. Um, so you're good on the cold showers, girl. Yeah, it's just a good shock to your system. I don't think it's terrible for you in any way. And personally, when I take cold showers, I never get out of the shower after a cold shower feeling anything but amazing. Like I feel like I've woken up, I feel refreshed, I feel clean. Um, I would recommend you keep taking cold showers. I'm also- I feel clean when I get out of my shower too. Dude, I did take one hot shower. Um, where did I do that? I took one hot shower this weekend, but I've been taking cold showers every day for like the past two weeks. And then after that hot shower, I started taking cold ones again. So I'm gonna just keep going. I yeah. Cold shower thing is I'm totally on board with it. And if, if you just are having a bad day, go get in a cold shower and shock your system. Yep. Ah, another cold shower question. Alphon, is it true that you have to get a hot shower after a workout so you, you eliminate all the fat accumulated on your sweat? Um, no. Yeah, I've never heard that. Never heard that before. Yeah. Thanks for asking your question, but no. Yeah, bro. When your sweat washes off, it just washes off. I don't, like fat isn't actually leaving your body. Well, the fat molecules shrink. That's what's yes, happening. Yes, 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 okay, that's right. There's no, you don't get any more, that's right. You don't get more or less fat molecules. They just grow or they shrink. Correct. So therefore, your sweat is not taking fat out of you that needs to be washed off. Brendan! Hey! 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 What's up, man? Where do you guys get your shirts? Which shirts? Which shirts, Brendan? The do we the have shirts? Do The Thing shirts, which we'll link in the description below. Shout. Zendu Fitness dot bigcartel.com. Other shirts, I think we got like Zara, Forever 21, uh, Urban Outfitters. Topman, this shirt is called Topman. Um, they have a lot of good street clothing, I like them. Sarah asks, Dan, can you moonwalk? No, I cannot. I am, I, that is like the ultimate move. The ultimate move in my opinion to learn is the arm wave and the moonwalk. I can kind of arm wave, not really great. Um, so those are two things that I'm definitely gonna be working on. Ritvik, <laughs> Ritvik, dudes, listen up. Listen, you got, you got our full attention, bro. Got us. I weigh around 95 kilos, so is it safe to say for me to jump, is it safe for me to jump rope on concrete? Um, it won't put too much pressure on my knees or end up hurting them, would it? Yeah, we talked about this in the past. Okay, in general, it's better to jump rope on something that has more of a give, whether that's like a hardwood floor or a rubber surface. Um, so if you can find that, that's great. I think we jump rope on concrete a ton, so uh, it's not like ideal if you have knee or joint issues, but if you do it, you know, not every day, like you're gonna be fine. And listen, man, if you're a young person, like I wouldn't worry about that much unless you have pain, just jump rope on concrete, just do the thing. 
Do thing. Today's episode of Zen Dude Fitness was brought to you by Athletic Greens and Crossrope, two of the best products in El Mundo. In the world. In the world. So Crossrope, this is the jump rope. What I do here? What I do? All he did was win, win, win. All right, all right, you guys. This is a jump rope that we use every day, just about every day. Yep. Um, it's a quarter pound agility rope. We'll link it down in the description below for you. It's just the rope. It's just the rope. It's just the best rope. It is. And they have heavy ropes now, which there is a lot of emerging research around uh, being able to potentially build muscle and especially maintain, maintain muscle, that muscle. Uh, with heavier ropes. So cross rope is not only they make the best ropes, but they're also on the cutting edge of research around how jump rope can become this one size fits all tool to become lean yeah. and have fun. Jump Rope Fitness. Yeah. Uh, we also have, of course, Athletic Greens. You got the protein we take on the daily. Uh, we got the BCAs, not here in front of you, but available via the link below. And Athletic Greens is our green juice supplement. It does not break your fast in the morning. Uh, it's a great uh, supplement for getting more fruits and veggies and micronutrients in your diet, whether you're traveling, at home. It's awesome. It's awesome. All right, uh, back to the, uh, the show. Gurjeet asks, what was the idea behind the name Zen Dude Fitness? Three exclamation points. Yeah, Zen, we are Zen dudes. We are Zen, like we just want to be, like Zen philosophy is really around just being at peace with being in the present moment and being, and so jump rope fitness is very much like Zen. You just want to get in the zone, present state, flow state. We're dudes, of course, and it's fitness. Totally, man. Like, totally what my dude Brandon said, you know, man? Surf's up. No, I would say that for me, uh, Zen Dude Fitness is, like Brandon said, the state of, of being. And I would add to that for me personally, um, I went through this big transformation mentally. I started meditating a lot more. Um, I learned about how positive thoughts affect your reality. And I used to be working in a very corporate environment. And for me, this whole idea of Zen Dude, the Zen Dude lifestyle, represents the deprogramming of my brain from my old ways and getting more in touch with the present moment, getting more in touch with myself so that I could run a business and hit my career goals, but at the same time, just be a happy person. And, you know, I also like to think too, dude in the name, um, a lot of people think that's super bro-ish or whatever, but like, Brandon and I are bros. Like we're, we're goofy dudes who like, and, and I like that playfulness. I think there's so many people in fitness that are so serious and so aggressive. And we wanted to give people a name that was like, no, like we're here to have fun. We're here to be super healthy. We're here to live a long life and look great doing it. But it's all about, it's all about having fun. So to, to us, that's Zen Dude Fitness. My here asks, did any of you guys get caught masturbating, laughing my ass off? L A L. Uh, did you ever? Uh, I don't think my parents <laughs> ever knew. I think I was probably always under my blankets, and then like you know, someone comes in, I'm just, just hanging out in the bed. That's true. Uh, but I don't think explicitly. You know, I had some close calls with the desktop computer upstairs. Yeah, you know, you hear someone coming up the stairs. You're like, Yo! yeah. But I don't think. Put your willy away. Yeah, right. Um, I, I, I think I had one with my parents, but the most embarrassing one that I thought was like just really funny is I was a junior in college and I lived in this house at Westchester. And uh, I forget which friend it was, but one of my homies uh, came downstairs and I was like, off in the <laughs> dude, we had all our computers downstairs and everyone had their desk down there. Yeah. And like I lived in another room with a dude, like, one of my good friends, so I went downstairs to off and I was like, and then my friend walked down because he was going to his morning class and he's like, dude, seriously, like totally, I had like a shirt on and my pants were pulled down to my pants. <laughs> and he was just like, dude, it's like nine in the morning. What do you mean like, at nine in the morning? Bro. So much I'm a horny testosterone. Guy. I'm a horny guy. Barry asks, how do you fit those good foods into your macros? For example, I like to enjoy ice cream Friday night, which is about 750 of my 2,000 calories. Yo, just like us, Barry. Mm -hmm. Is it more important for me to stay at 2,000 and come in under my macros or hit my macros and go over my calories for the day? We've been getting this question a lot, which yeah. actually we should explain. Because if you're hitting your macros, you can't 
really overshoot your calories because mm-hmm. they're correlated. This yeah, it depends about. where you're doing the rest of the week, right? So if you're in a calorie deficit the rest of the week, then you can take this one day and eat in a slight calorie surplus. So eat about 150% of what you would usually consume. So if you usually consume 2,000, I guess that would be, you would consume 3,000. So maybe just Friday is a day where you consume 3,000 calories. So you have extra food budget for your ice cream. Also, dude, I'm going to be totally honest with you guys, and I don't want people to interpret this the wrong way and go overboard, um, but dude, like 750 calories, okay, so Brandon and I are all about the 70-30 rule. Out of 2,000 calories, forgive me, my math is not fantastic, let's call it 600 of that, what is it, like like 550 to 600 of that is 30%, whatever. Um, you could eat ice cream every day, dude, and I'm a big believer that this idea that like if you eat a little bit of sugar every day, it's going to be bad for you. I personally think that's bullshit. I think that as long as you are eating a majority of your food, lean meats, tons of vegetables, fruits, getting a lot of water, maybe supplementing with athletic greens or something like that, then you could eat a piece of cake every day. Like it's not that much that it's gonna destroy your body. And personally, there's not even enough research out there that says it's terrible for you. One article, dude, one of the best articles I've ever seen written on this topic was written by this night. He's not 19 now. He's like 22. There's this guy in the internet world called Army Leg. He's a great dude. He has this article called Eating Clean is a Myth, and it is fantastic. It's got millions of views. It's got a lot of hate, but also he brings up some great points on basically why it's totally fine to eat a little bit of ice cream every day. So um, I would just say, man, you have to be realistic with your life have fun, don't stress about the small stuff, and you can fit that kind of stuff in as long as you're not pigging out on it. Corey asks, what are some tips for those looking to start a business? Any more deets on the app, excited. Let's, I wanna address the first question by itself for us, and I think it's a super important one. Go ahead. Yeah, what are some tips for those looking to start a business? Um, hmm. I would say start with doing something that you would do for free. You know, like, because starting a business and running a business and having a successful business is really hard. It takes a lot of hard work. You're gonna have to just put your head through a wall to make this happen. Yeah. So you have to do something that you want to do. Otherwise, you're gonna have a business where you're working super hard and you hate your life, which, like, what's the point of that? That's like, that whole Alan Moss thing's around like, why, like, me? around like money like why would you work why would you spend your life doing something you don't want to do to go on spending the rest of your life doing more things you don't want to do dude like i love that what he says there so good so man first thing is like find something you really care about and then think about with that specific thing how can you add value to the world so dan and i pick jump rope we're like the value we're going to add is we're going to teach people how to jump rope to get lean and that's our thing that's a value we give to the world so think about things you like and what value can you give to the world in that, in that niche. And so I agree totally with what Brandon said and I would just add to that. Also, self-awareness is huge. Mm. Don't fall into this trap of quitting your job to do something you love. Look, if you suck at doing the thing that you love and you're not as good as other people, mm. it's gonna be harder for you to make money. Like, we're gonna be straight up with you guys. It made sense for Brandon and us to do this business because we were lean dudes who were like decent at jumping rope and we knew that we could get across to people. Mm-hmm. And I don't say that like in a, in a cocky way, I say it because we are sh- extremely self-aware. Mm-hmm. So don't just do something that you love, do something that you're good at and you know you can make money off of. Don't just be someone who's like, I'm gonna quit, like there has to be this dreamer side of you and this reality check side of you, like don't quit your job and say, I'm just gonna be a musician. Say like, I'm gonna be a musician because I'm going to, have a presence on this social media platform and I'm gonna sell, I'm gonna be able to sell t-shirts or I'm gonna be able to sell my albums this way or whatever it may be. Do something that you're good at and have an actual business plan to make money. Gotta be good enough. Yes. All the taxes in the world don't matter if you're not good enough. Dude, Gary V, we should link this. He talks about, he's like, who do you think are the people that win? Like everyone's like, oh, yeah, this guy's got lucky, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. The people who win are simply the best. That's it. If you wanna be, if you wanna win, just be the best at whatever you do. And if you're not the best yet, then you better be working hard every day just to become as close as you can to the best because that's where, when you, when you, when you do that in your particular field of interest or industry, that's when you can make a lot of money doing it. 
Dean. Sup, Dean? Cool profile pick, man. What is both, what is your height? Just out of interest, said dudes. Oh, you know, 6'2", six, 6'3", six, plus or minus a centimeter or two. I'm 6'2 and 3 quarters without my shoes. 6'2 inches, 6'2 and 3 quarters inches without my shoes off, so. Oh, uh, okay, without six, your three. shoes off, so with your shoes on. Oh. No, with my shoes on, I'm probably like 6'3 and a half. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. I'm like a quarter inch shorter than Dan. Which, because most of you are in centimeters, because I don't know why the U.S. is just like... Doing on our inches. own program. Yeah, six, six foot, foot three, three inches in centimeters. In CM. Brandon and I are about 190 to 191 centimeters tall. There it is. Which is interesting because, dude, I didn't realize this, but like a lot of people when they watch our videos think that we're like 5'10". Yeah. Which is great because then we meet people and they're and like- we're just like giants. They're like, they're your six giant. Now we're not, we're like, you know, we're tall, but we're not like tall, tall, like 6'10". Yeah, that's tall. That's tall. You know what I mean? We're not NBA tall. No, we ain't NBA. No, no. Definitely not NBA tall. Ace. Hey, D and B. Hey, Ace Dunn, Hood. Hey, Dunn and Bradstreet. What's up? Yeah. What are your favorite veggies and protein sources? That's a good question. Ah, uh, favorite veggies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like Brussels sprouts a lot. Oh. I like. Oh, it depends so how you make them too. Ooh, some like roasted Brussels sprouts with bacon. Oh my Ooh. god. Oh my god. I like asparagus a lot. I like broccoli, especially at like Chinese restaurants. I know it has a bunch of sauce with extra calories, but it's bomb. Oh, I like a good salad. I like a nice big salad with oh, yeah. all the vegetables. Oh yeah. I like vegetables a lot. Um, and protein sources. I like all the animals. Um, chicken, steak, uh, pork. Yeah, uh, veal. Uh, <laughs> what other animals am I forgetting? And you got the uh, fish. Yeah, I love the fish. Fish. Uh, Buffalo. The seafood. Buffalo. Um, listen, I will pretty much eat any animal. Yeah. And I would say for veggies, broccoli, spinach, red and green peppers, um, brus definitely Brussels sprouts. Um, I know there's some. I feel like there's some I'm missing. I mean, those are like my pretty. Like those are my go tos for sure. Mm. Um, and then protein sources, I love steak. I love steak. I love steak, I love pork, I love chicken. Um, and then salmon, that would be my other one there, my top. Dylan, size of my cross rope. Would going slightly longer on the rope size help with tricks? Thanks dudes, no prob Dylan, see you in Boston soon, go ahead. Yes, slightly bigger rope. So if you're on the edge between two rope sizes, I would get the one that's slightly bigger. Just give yourself some more room to get through it when you crisscross it, when you double it. Correct. Jared says, hey guys. Hey Jared. Hey, hey Jared. Jared. What's up, Jay? I have just started the four week challenge and it's great. I will definitely be joining the dojo in the future. Get in the dojo. Yeah, man. Let's link the dojo below in the description. Linked. Beep, beep, beep. I just wanted to ask if you will be creating more plans uh, apart from the lean and muscle building plans already available. Keep up the great work. Thank you, my friend. We have a jump rope workout plan we just released a couple weeks ago, so I guess we can put that in the description as well for you. It's also on our site, zendufitness.com. Uh, yeah, and then I think the thing that Dan and I, we might make a heavy rope workout yeah, plan we, in the yeah. future. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, I don't know what else we're gonna do because like we don't want, like we could keep making workout plans for you guys, but at the same time, you could just put them on repeat or you could start to make your own workout plans. We think that once people have been through all the plans we offer, you probably know enough where you can just do it yourself. Well, and the app. The app is gonna oh, allow yeah. you guys to make all the workout. Guys, the app is gonna have a workout in the premium version, mm -hmm. which is gonna be what, like $4? Yeah. It's gonna have the ability to make, like to shake your phone and make new workouts. So like you're literally gonna be able to create thousands of Zen Dude Fitness workouts. Maybe not shake your phone, but um, just click a button. Yeah, click a button, sorry. Um, but yeah, I would, I, I would do, yeah. The app's gonna be awesome. Jordan asks, are my arms supposed to hurt from roping? Yeah, they are, man. They really are, especially if you're using a uh, heavier rope or especially if you're just getting started. When I, do, when I get that one pound rope and I'm getting it for a minute straight, my forearms are burning, yep. my, my hands are burning, oh, my yeah. shoulders are burning. Yeah, your arms are supposed to hurt. And you know, in general, like you should kind of suffer a little bit through your workout, just in general through your body, mm -hmm. like in a good way though, right? Like yeah. you, you're like coming out the other side 
a new person rebirthed. Pain is not necessarily a bad thing. Chronic shooting pain is bad. Yeah. Muscle burning and like build up from lactic acid. Let that's it burn. yeah, that's not bad. You just need to fight through that, my friend. Dude, that's the episode right there. Yeah. Oh. One thing I want to mention. Yeah. You guys, in two months. Yeah. No, less than two months. Less than two months. We are going to Costa Rica. We're leading a retreat. Yeah. We sold some slots open. We'll link it in the description below for you. We would love to get some more of you there with us. It's going to be an awesome, awesome time. It's just going to be a small, intimate group of us just adventuring, of us doing game planning for your life. So if you want to get some time with the Zen dudes, just kick it and learn how to upgrade your health and your life in general. We would love to see you there. Yeah, you guys, if you come, you're going to get pretty much a a blueprint for how to work out, how to eat, and how to enjoy your lifestyle more uh, while being able to lose weight. So this is like a focus group of us like going in there and being like, this is exactly what you need to do. And it'll be good because we can meet you guys and develop a deeper relationship so that we can continue to increase accountability as you go back and implement the strategies that we're gonna teach you. And in addition, when you get back, we're doing one-on-one -on -one coaching calls with each person recapping what you learned to make sure you implement it. Uh huh. And we don't do coaching. We uh -huh. don't do any coaching as ND Fitness. This is the only way you can get it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. That's it, bro. That's it. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, one more thing. I'm gonna be in uh, Philadelphia, May 31st. I'm gonna be in Boston. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna be in New York, Saturday, June 3rd. I'm gonna be in Boston. Uh, Wednesday, Wednesday, June 7th. Those events are linked up below also. Come and meet me. Let's have some fun and then go eat some awesome food afterward. Episode number 13, we are out.